Hello friends, how are you today? This is my intro to what I'll be sharing with you guys. We do step by step on how to recreate this junk. It was junk, it's not junk anymore. Um, found it off the curb. It is, I think, because I think I've seen this before at Ikea, a children's step stool. And I bring you through the whole process of how to get it from looking this color Actually, the inside's a little prettier than the outside was. But if you are interested, stick around and I'll show you how to make it from nothing to something. <laughs> Just like that. This is going to go in my restroom. And I've got a load of jokes for you today. I might have some special silent ebulos. Maybe not so silent, but in my mind they were silent. So if you want to be entertained and want to hear some information, some chatting, and just hanging out with me, basically having me in your craft room, hanging out. Now just remember, this can be done on paper. So just because I'm doing it on a step stool doesn't mean that you guys have to. You can do it on canvas, paper, um, cardstock, you name it. You can do it on whatever medium platform you have turn anything into what we're doing today. You don't need a step stool, I promise. If you want to uh, take my techniques and recreate them on anything you want, go ahead. Have fun. I hope you enjoy my company and I hope you're not offended by my ebulos. I'll see you in a second. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? Today I bring you a project now, we're going to do this together, but not not all of it. Not We're not going to do the whole complete thing, because to be honest, it's taken me a long time to even get to where I'm at right now. Um, give me one second. I have a speaker going. Let's see if I can mute. Oh my gosh, I apologize. There we go. Everything started sliding off my desk, sorry. It's just real life, folks. Sorry for making you dizzy. Okay. So, let's start here. This is a step stool, I think it's called, for children, or just to have around the house. I picked this off, up off the side of the road. This it's this part is the original color. I'm not sanding it, I'm not prepping it, I'm not doing anything to it to get it completely ready. I'm just doing the things that I would do around the house that have stuck for years. So I went ahead and I did this part, this part. I've done this part this one and the back side. The only part we're going to do together is this part. I've started this. Actually, I think I'm done. I did all of this here. We're going to move this also. I'm going to replicate what I did here above here. Then I'll do something over here. It's cute. I'm not going to do the inside. That's the top step. That's the inside. I don't want to keep you here all day, so let's get going. thing I've done is taken the dirt off of it and that's about it. So we're dry brushing today and we're going to use that, some acrylic paint in white and some paint adhesion, a brush Oh, styrofoam. I need it dry, so the one I have is wet. I'm going to pull out a few because these tend to break on me while using, but then again I've repeatedly used them over and over. So let's get this going. Shake well. 
you've seen the products I'm, we're about to use. So what I do, and this is just me, this is just me. I put a line of paint adhesion, medium. I put clear chalkboard coating. I know it's not chalk, I understand that, but it works. I just showed you guys um, the aftermath of me messing with this stuff. And then I get the white on top. You can buy chalk paint, you can make chalk paint, but I'm not about that life. And this is what I do. I mix it around just like this. Do it however you like. This is just me. Then I go like this. Then I'm literally going to wipe this away. We're going to go one more time, but we're going to go in with a blue. Just going to one second. Okay. That's basically the technique I do, and I do it again, again with the chalk board clear coating. In my mind, it's doing something. And the way it turns out in the end, I love the way it looks. Because I don't want a particular chalky feeling um, piece. I'm not, I'm not going for that, but I'm going for the chalky look with a little bit of shine. A little bit. Then I'm going to use Blue Haven. Then I'm going to stop the video and then return when we're ready to stencil. Oh, and we also are going to do a Mm, cream wax mix with a gel stain and that's how we get that brown look so you get a little bit of this periwinkle blue which is not called periwinkle it's called blue haven um, deco arts paint Make sure you get your ends. And I'm going over here where I forgot, which is the handles. Then you guys are not going to watch this dry, although some of you guys would. I know I would. I want, I want, um, what I'm going for, the look I'm going for also is to be able to see my streaks going through. So what I'll end up doing is wiping all of this paint in my journal. Let me grab that. Nothing's going to go to waste. open up my journal here and we got painty paper now to start whatever it is that's next in my life to start. So I put that aside and if I still have more paint, you guys know how much I like to paint up my rags. But for right now before I let you guys go, I'm going to grab another foam. This is another one, no paint on it, completely dry. And I'm going to run that through. And I promise, all of these steps may sound and feel and look useless. But I showed you at the beginning of the video what I ended up with. And that's because I did every single one of these steps that I'm sharing with you guys. 
once that dries, we're going to put white on top again. So it'll dry in a second. That you guys can wait for, but for the complete drying process, this dries quite quick. I promise, give me one second and we'll get that white right on there. Don't click away. Remember, you're going to end up with that look right there. If you want this that same kind of style, you can put any stencil on top. You can even art, create your own art on top. We decided not to because we're going to be stepping on it. It's pretty tacky. We're almost done. Oh, I have something bigger. heat machine, but I don't want to turn that on. Okay, that's good enough, I promise. Okay, now we go in again. Same steps. The paint adhesion. White. I'm not going to use too much. and chalk. Mix, 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 mix. Mix all your fruit together. <laughs> all right. You see how you get the blue to come through? Come through blue and then you can wipe your brush away. And I'll do that. I'm going to just squeeze it on here. Because you're doing somewhat of a dry brush technique here. With a lot of white highlight. And blue peeking through. Alright. And some brown. Then, once this dries, then we'll come put uh, what you see here, our brown stain, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, it's nice and dry. Next step is two different products. It is cream wax and gel stain. Does that make sense? No, it does not. But does it work for me? Yes, it does. So just as I do, if you know my channel, you know I just jump in and do. That's just the way my brain works. And because I'm always thinking to myself, ah, if I mess up, who cares? You either fix it and make it look pretty, you redo it, or you add to it until it makes you feel good. Okay, so for this one, we're going to use a makeup sponge. I'm just dragging both colors together. Very, very loosely. And yes, I know you can see the sponge on there and all of that good stuff. That's okay for right now. Because it is a gel, it lifts really nicely. I am no pro. I don't read directions. <laughs> but this technique has given me what I like.
And you see, and then you blend it. And I want my middle to be high, like highlighted. Okay, so this is what I do. I start bringing the stain inwards. And I start feeling it get a bit sticky, and that's good. But I want like a cloud highlight inside, just like that. Okay, I'm going to let it dry a little. I can wipe some off. Be patient because. And make sure I don't have any white paint. I'm just dragging. Not too hard. Just dragging to where it kind of feels dry in between a dry and a sticky feeling. Okay. Almost there. using a paper bag. I'm going to go in one more time. And this time I'm only going to use, let's see which one was it. Looks like I'm only going to use the cream wax. You know what, it wasn't the cream wax, it was the other one I was supposed to use, but that's okay. Perfectly fine. I don't want this to look used, abused, and gorgeous. That's okay, we'll do it right over. Alright, one more time. Oh, what did I just use? Okay, I used the cream wax. I know it's not used for what I'm doing. I'll say that over and over and over again, but that's... This is what I want to do, and it's doing what I want it to do. Now I'm just using a makeup brush, uh, a fan brush. This is the technique I like. This is the look I like. I want all of these streaky lines. Don't forget your edges. Um, not well yeah, I'm gonna do the front. I know you guys can't see this part, but since I have this stuff on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the front also. And I'll flip it right now and show you guys. Let's see, I'm doing it right here. You see that I'm not I'm not being um, light-handed at all. All right, and I think this part I'm going to leave it white, definitely. And let's go through one more time. I want some of that white to come through. And the blue. Okay. Shoot, 
I think that's perfect. I have a little bit of black. And I'm just going to mess. I can barely see it, but I'm messing with it with black just a little bit. Alright. I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll come back and we'll start our stenciling. Okay. We're going to do something that looks something like this. Let me show you. Like that. With white highlights, uh, polka dots, gears, and white highlight and black highlight, and we'll bring it all together. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let me bring this forward. Let me first show you what I did off camera. The black that was on this, I just went ahead and grunged up a lot of this. Alright. So for this part, I'm going to grab my stencil. This stencil that you see here um, is from a computer component. Yeah. And I'm gonna get my lid. And then I'm gonna use Artist Loft Mars Black because I still want it to look um, grungy and a little see-through. Just a little. Alright kids. So what I do is I get some on my brush, very little. And then I roll around on the side. I roll around on the side right here. Sorry. Then I hold down my stencil like this. And then I just start going in. I'm going to leave myself space because we're going to put some gears over here. Don't be surprised if you hear my husband coming in talking randomness because I didn't answer the phone. There he comes. I can hear him. Let's see what he has to say. Let's spy on me. Spy on secret. I kind of got a fart, but I'm not going to. Okay, I'm going to hold it. See what I've done. There's a few that I still want to get done. Do you guys see my nails? How long they're getting? Jeepers. That's good enough for me for right now. Then I'm going to get go in with my gears. You know, if I toot... I apologize now. You guys are in my personal space. And then I come into your personal space on on video here in the YouTubes and get to fart in your room. The special part about that is that you don't get to smell it. That's a good thing. Alright, oh, almost dropped. 
brush. Hang on, my eyeball itches. And I'm going to hold it, pick it up. They look pretty good. I'm going to leave that alone for right now. And then we're going to throw some gears over here. I need to wipe the bottom of the stencil. We're making a mess right there. Give me one second. I'm going to wipe it on my shirt. And right around there. I just recently acquired this thing. It's a Delta 305 Dominican Republic. It's wonderful. The dogs are up to no good. And the funny part is they come and check to see where I'm at. To see if they can get away with things. Once one dog sends the other dog to come and see where mom is. Then she goes back and reports to the other dog. Coast is clear, mom's busy, she's still talking. Do what you gotta do. And usually what they're doing is humping. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm not joking. They're a bunch of humpers. I am positive that they have picked that up off the streets. Bad habits off the streets. Hard life on the streets of LA. Just joking. I am just joking. Kidane. They are humping. Just trying to clear my name. I'm going to throw one right there. And you see all of this um, blackness? That's okay. It adds to the piece. Because I did it on the bottom part and it added to the piece. Because we're going to add some highlights in white, so we should be good. You could pick up these stencils, oh, probably at Michael's. And I will um, say that if you guys like to give me a one-time tip, you can use my PayPal secret at create a birdie dot com and give me a one time tip however much you like everything and anything is well appreciated and I'll tell you where it's going that money those tips are going for funding my daughter's um, college admission, which is 500 bucks right now. That's just for her to get her foot in the freaking door. So if you guys can help me and you enjoy my entertainment, my art, my company, and my time, because I appreciate your guys' time, and if you have a little bit of change, I sure would take it. Even 50 cents. Anything and everything helps. I'm going to put one more up here. My PayPal link is also here on YouTube. Just click on my name, my channel name, right there. Secret. At Create a Birdie. Click that. It'll take you to my home.
home page and you'll see a banner right there in the banner you'll see my PayPal and you just click that and a one time two time three time doesn't everything's appreciated all to get first generation child into admissions okay that's that now that one I do have to wait for it to dry I'm gonna leave my brush as is because I do I will run this brush on the edge like this to give it some more raggedy rags give it a more rugged steampunkish old cigar box look just like that and you can run your fingers careful and your fingers and hands and arms and everything on there all right so that's that then I pick up my white this white here and then I get a foam brush as long as it's not wet I want a dry foam brush dry used old foam brush <coughs> excuse me that was a burp Whew, that's a lot of talking and I'm going to put some there and I'm going to be a genius and rub it around and I'm going to do that this when I say that it means this 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 what you see here take a look at the screen look up kid look up kid then you can see what I'm talking about you guys are up front and personal today, aren't you? If you guys like what you see, please share with your friends. There's many, many videos. I have over 800 videos for you guys to watch and be entertained. Alright, so again I'll rub my hand for dramatic effect. Okay, so this is what I like to do. What I have left over, I like to make the stencil or whatever's laying on top kind of go in the background. And I also do it to highlight oh, certain parts. Let me move this down some. There we go. Alright, so I will randomly go in with my brush like that. You see, I did that, that, and that. And I really have to fart. I really do. Oh my gosh. Alright. Holy moly, I'm gonna have a stomach ache because I'm holding in my fart. Then you just highlight your gears. Make sure they're dry. Don't be a dingle bat. Don't be a bat. see how some of them go back. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that I didn't already fart. Thankfully it was a silent nebulo. I don't, I don't want to tummy ache, I'm sorry. Okay. So that's what I do. And now, remember, the more you use this tool, the more you step on it, the more ra raggedy, rugged, old, steampunky it's going to look. Then I'll come in, and then I do this. And what that's doing is causing these little rip-looking pieces. Like that. See, I'm just running this part. Barely any paint on there upwards and then we're going to grab the black again and then we'll grab the brown again all right now 
let's grab the black. Actually, let's grab the brown. Not the cream wax, the other one. Not that one either. There it is. Oh, the gel stain. Put it on my finger, rub it together. And you see, you do like me, where it looks like you know what the hell you're doing. And then you say, ta-da, we're done. Just kidding. Grab the black. This thing's falling apart. That's okay. Must be really old. And again, over the top. This technique can be done on paper, cardboard, mailboxes. Kitchen cabinets your underwear. It's looking good, Mama. It's looking good. Now we're going to mess with this part right here. Just do as I do and you'll look like a pro just like I look like a although I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just, somebody threw me here on YouTube and said, here, here's the camera. Can you replace the lady that's usually on this channel? For the day. And I said, oh yeah, I can do that. I'm going to do, oh, I almost knocked over my tiles, I'm going to do here, and we're done kids, we're done, hope you enjoyed, take a look around, I have playlists for DIYs, how to's, fashion, home decor, chatting, creative, birdie mail, you name it, let's help my daughter get into admissions. We have from now till um, April 31st to get her into admissions. I'm kind of feeling like uh, even uh, April 1st before lunchtime. Yeah. And if we don't get her into that college, she's going to be going to Stalin Way, I think it's called. Stalin Way. Staffen Way. Holy moly, it's not coming to me. Stanislaw. There it is. She will be going to Stanislaw. So, please help this mama get her child into Stanislaw for admissions. And get her in there to be dorming and stuff. Okay, guys. Best of luck to you guys. And best of luck for me. See you guys later. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being creative birdies. And I'll catch you later. Bye, ladies. Bye, gentlemen. Bye, children. Bye, grandmother, grandfather, and all y'all.